You maybe have recently heard many concerns about climate change, many shocking pictures, statistics and numbers. And now you feel bad. This video should help you to feel better. First the bad news. Basically all this stuff is caused by you. The good news? That means you can make all this stuff better. This video provides a few simple things a student your age can easily do to help. I know you don't like to hear this, but the first step to help is to pick up a pencil and a piece of paper and to write along. I will try to make it as easy as possible to write a checklist and spare you the pressure of writing along by listing the things up on the right. Cycling. Want to go shopping, visit a friend or do anything else in the area you live? Why don't you burn some calories, save some coins and the climate at the same time? As long as you stay safe, cycling actually increases your lifetime. There are so many effects that I just list them quickly on the left. 20 bicycles can be parked in the same space as one car. It takes around 5% of the materials and energy used to make a car to build a bike. And the bike produces zero pollution. Are you scared of inhaling too much pollution while cycling? Well, a study showed that on average car drivers inhale about 40,000 ultrafine particles per cubic centimeter. Cyclists, meanwhile, were exposed to just 8,000 ultrafine particles. It's thought that cyclists breathe in fewer fumes because they ride at the edge of the road. Trash avoiding. There are lots of possibilities in your everyday life to avoid trash. And this is one of the most powerful ways you can help. Use a dishcloth instead of paper towels. And you can easily save some trees and water for producing them. No paper plates. Is it really necessary to chop down a tree and produce them into thin slices to save you the time to run a bit of water over a plate? Here are a few facts that are not only true for paper plates, but for any throwaway dishes. Like paper cups and paper towels for instance. Using paper plates would cause emissions of around 282 pounds CO2, while ceramics just cost 6 pounds. And I'm speaking of emissions over one year, where you can use ceramics plates as long as you are not too clumsy to break or have a bad fight. Paper plates are better in one aspect, they use less water. While ceramic plates use up to 3 quarters to a single gallon of water in a dishwasher, paper plates just need half a gallon to be produced. If you wash your plates by hand, you can obviously reduce that amount. You can't recycle most paper plates due to their contamination with food, and most can't even be composted due to their petroleum-based wax coating. I think I don't have to speak about ceramics on this subject. To make paper plates white, you need to use chlorine. This can cause pollution as well. I honestly didn't find out that much about chemicals used for ceramics and I think they vary from type to type. So let's just say they have been used, but just once. Adds up, doesn't it? If you pack your own lunch, it's based on your cafeteria, probably a great step in avoiding a lot of trash. But to bring your own trash to nearly zero, exchange your sandwich baggies for little bread boxes. And if you love yogurt like I do, just pack a metal spoon and wash it afterwards. But the kind of trash you make the biggest impact in avoiding with is this little friend here. With buying plastic bottles, you do not only promote the privatization of water worldwide, letting water prices increase, but you also hurt your health. I know, the water looks like it's supposed to be healthier. But the differences are often ridiculous, especially when you just buy the cheapest brands. Just 20% get recycled. By some estimates, it takes about 2 liters of water to make every liter you see on store shelves. Many bottles also have endocrine disruptors. These chemicals mimic hormones and affect normal body functions in a bad way. If your bottle gets exposed to heat, even more chemicals can get out, like cancer-causing substances. And if you reuse the plastic bottles, bad bacteria can easily develop. How can you help this? Well, just use a canteen. And if you need to buy something, search for glass water bottles. That's it. Every piece of trash adds up day for day. You can basically always trace it either back to oil or the rainforest. And in the end, it just saves you a few seconds you borrow from the future. Boycott certain brands. You are maybe not able to vote yet, but don't forget that you daily vote with your money. I know quality dank memes can be tempting, but why don't you try to invest a portion of your daily toilet research time for looking which brands do what and who do you promote with buying for example that plastic bottle of water daily. I suggest boycotting Nestle. Just look for their name and don't buy it. Sounds like shallow words without facts? Until now, yes. Find out yourself what they did and do. Join your local school club. Inform yourself if your school has a club dedicated to making the school greener 
and visit it once. They will be happy just to have at least your attention for once. And if you don't find one, found one. Imagine how it would look in your resume. And you just have to organize some recycling and notice improvable aspects of your school. Contact me anytime if you need help. Psst, or be part of the Sunrise Movement. Composting. Sounds like some disgusting hippie stuff? Consider this. Less trash goes into landfills, it improves the smell of your regular trash, and the outcome is great nutritious soil for gardening. When food scraps are thrown in a landfill, the degrading material creates methane, a greenhouse gas that is 70 times more potent than carbon dioxide. And a molecule of methane equals 23 molecules of CO2. It traps up to 100 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide within a 5 year period. And 72 times more within a 20 year period. Landfills are the single largest human source of methane emissions in the world. Even though carbon dioxide molecules outnumber methane 5 to 1, this comparatively smaller amount of methane is still 19 times greater a problem for climate change over a 5 year period and 4 times greater over a 100 year period. You basically just need a bucket with a lid. In my case I also added a charcoal filter. You can easily get it at your local pet store. It eliminates odor and helps the compost process start through air circulation, through the drilled holes. Then just put everything biodegradable like kitchen and food waste into it and dump it now and then to a spot in your backyard. Like this it emits way less methane. Livestock is the world's largest user of land resources. With pasture and land dedicated to the production of animal food, it represents almost 80% of the total global agricultural land. Expansion of livestock grazing land is also a leading cause of deforestation. The livestock sector accounts for 9% of all carbon dioxide emissions derived from human-related activities, as well as 37% of methane emissions, primarily gas from the digestive system of cattle and other farm animals. And you already know how methane works. So try to eat more chicken or less meat in general. Buying used stuff. By buying used clothes you prevent the following things. Polyester and nylon manufactured creates nitrous oxide, another greenhouse gas, 310 times more potent than carbon dioxide. And you thought methane was the worst stuff. During the production chemicals get also set free that damage people and the environment. Shipping and other production aspects also emit CO2. One t-shirt needs 713 gallons. That's three years worth of drinking. 2.4 pounds of CO2 are emitted. You need 108,000 gallons for jeans. For producing them, 44 pounds of CO2 are emitted. And by the way, these are the wages of the people that produce that stuff. And you can easily avoid all that by buying and selling second hand. It becomes a bigger and bigger trend and you will be surprised which treasures you can find. And you heard me right, if you want to protect the environment and make money easily, sell your clothes online or even better. You try to go out into the real world and sell what just fills your closet at a local thrift store. Consider these websites I listed up for selling stuff. 40% of all waste in the US is paper and worldwide also 40% of all trees get cut for paper. If your document isn't that important or official, just make an extra pile beneath the printer and turn these sheets back to easily cut your paper usage in half. By the way, you also use 2.5 gallons of water per sheet. Reusable bags. Reusable bags virtually save you an infinite amount of plastic bags. The most important aspect is just to remind yourself of actually bringing them to the store. You can't recycle plastic bags in your recycling bin, but you can bring them back to the store they can recycle them. So what about a plastic bag bin you take now and then with you while shopping? Find information about recycling everything under search.earth911.com. Other suggestions for special recycling bins are batteries, light bulbs, technology like old phones or laptops. And these are just things that you maybe need to drop off once a year. If you paid attention, you probably want to research some of that stuff. My last tip is to do that with Ecosia. Set it as primary search engine. This engine uses 80% of its income for planting trees. If you search around 45 times, you plant one tree. To make a huge impact, tell your school to set it as primary search engine. 
test it. It's basically just as good as Google. That's it. And honestly, no worries. Even I don't follow all these tips. Just pick the ones you can do, and the vast amount of options should just make it easier for you to pick. And if you want to double, triple, quadruple or gazillionate climate change predicting effects, just share this video with a few friends. And write them just one sentence where you personally share it with them, otherwise they just think it's just another ad. Or even better, tell your teacher at school, imagine 20 people watching this because of you. And everyone just does a bit. Together we can change something. Thanks for watching and happy environment saving.